Hey everyone, welcome to our weekly video. Today is Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving! Today is a very special day in the Chabad calendar. The 10th of Kislev is when the Mittel Rebbe, Rabbi Dov Ber, was freed from Tsarist jail on false charges that he was supporting the Ottoman Turks. So, all around, a happy day, day of Thanksgiving. And the word Thanksgiving, to give thanks, appears for the first time in the entire Torah in this week's Parsha. That's right. Leah gives birth to her fourth child, Yehuda. And what does she say? She says, Hapa Moides Hashem, this time I thank God. Which is why she called him Yehuda. Yehuda means to give thanks. She was so thankful that she had a fourth child. In fact, we are called Yehudi, or Jews, because we are from Judah, which means we are the people that give thanks. We are Yehudim, thanksgiving people. How beautiful is that? I love thanksgiving. The whole concept is such a beautiful idea to sit around and say what you're thankful for. And um, it's really special. Someone asked me yesterday, Rabbi, is there a blessing that the hostages can say when they are released from captivity. And of course, Judaism has a blessing for everything, and we definitely have a blessing for that. If you think historically, there were often times where, sadly, Jews were in jail, and um, many times on false charges, and there is a blessing for that. It's not just for that. In fact, the Talmud tells us that if you look at Psalm 107, which starts out, Thank God, because He is good. His kindness is eternal. In that psalm, it's a pretty long one, King David lists four scenarios where people give thanks to the Almighty. And they are someone who crosses the sea, someone who crosses a desert, someone who gets healed from an illness, and someone who's released from captivity. And so no doubt, these, these captives, when they are released, will say the thanksgiving prayer, which is also called the blessing of Gomel. Gomel means the one who bestows, one who bestows kindness. And the blessing goes, Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who bestows kindness upon the culpable, for he has bestowed goodness to me. This is said in a minion, and all the people present will respond, Misha Gmolcha Taiv, Yigmolcha Kol Taiv Selah, the one who bestowed good to you should bestow good to you for all of time, for all eternity. And this is also done when someone uh, flies across the ocean, because that's like crossing the sea. Um, a woman who gives birth should definitely say this blessing. Um, and anyone who recovers from a serious illness should say this blessing too. And certainly these hostages will say the blessing. A beautiful idea to weave in the Parsha with Yehuda's birth and um, to the, and thanksgiving and the release of, of hostages. May they all be released speedily, immediately. But I want to add another dimension to this idea of thanksgiving. Because if you open any prayer book, the first prayer in the book is Ani, I thank you. L'fanecha, melechai v'kayim, the living eternal king for restoring my soul with me, in me with mercy. Great is your faithfulness. The first words we're supposed to utter when we wake up in the morning is mode, thank you. And in the Amidah, three times a day, and on holidays, four or five times a day in Yom Kippur, we say moedim, we say a section of the Amidah, after we ask for all the things we need personally and communally, we say, I thank you, God, for all the things you do for me, for the miracles that you do every single day, morning, afternoon, and evening. We're always giving thanks. But this modani that we do in the morning is so powerful and so important. And I want to share with you a little extra dimension, an idea that is explained in the Hasidic works about modani. So the word modeh, to give thanks, is also used in Talmudic jargon to mean I submit. So let's say two rabbis are arguing over law, an idea, and one of them wins the argument. The other one says, modeh, I agree, I admit, I submit my opinion to yours. 
So now let's read the Modeani with that lens on. Modeani lefanecha. I submit before you. Melech chai v'kayam, living in eternal king. I wake up in the morning and I say to God, God, I'm yours. This is not a day about me and my own selfish interests. It's a day about how can I be more other-centered, God-centered? How can I live a more purposeful life? And that's something that's a little bit counterintuitive. We wake up in the morning and we're like, okay, what do I need today? How about, what am I needed for? How about, how can I improve the world today? Or how can I serve God today? That's the moda'ani. And interestingly, the, the moda'ani that we say in the morning does not contain God's name. It says, Melech Chai living an eternal king. Because we're saying it in our bed. We haven't even washed our hands. We haven't brushed our teeth. It's not a time to pray. But it has to be the first thing on our lips. And so therefore, it doesn't contain God's name. You could say it in any state you are in. Wake up and say, Modeani. Um, I'm going to put a link in this video to the prayer. And um, if you'd like, I can send you a little Modeani card. I'm happy to put it in the mail to you. Um, anyway, today's Thanksgiving. I want to say thank you. Thank you to all the people that make Chabad House what it is, that make the magic happen, giving of yourselves, giving of your resources to support our students, to give them a place where they can discover their Judaism, where they can discover a community, where they can find support, where they can find a delicious Shabbos dinner. Thank you very much for making that happen. And it really means the world to us. And I hope it means the world to you. Good Shabbos and happy Thanksgiving.